All right, hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Ecolinguist channel. Today, we're going to be doing a challenge of can modern English speakers understand Old English? My name is Aldwina. I'm an Old English speaker. I run the English Discord Discord server, and here's the people who are going to be taking the challenge. Hi there, my name is Rob. I'm from Edinburgh. Um, I have uh, an interest in languages. I also do a bit of voiceover work. Um, and I think Norbert might be able to link to that. And I am fascinated to see whether growing up in Scotland gives me any sort of insight into what Old English might sound like. Hi, everyone. My name is Danny, and I live in New York City. Uh, here in New York, I am a PhD candidate in uh, theoretical computer science and linguistics. Um, you can probably find me online if you're interested. I also love languages. I speak 13 different languages well and some bits and bytes of others. But the only Germanic language I know is German, oh, other than English. So um, we'll see if that helps at all with this. I don't know any Nordic or Icelandic or Old English. Hi, everyone. My name is Andrew. I'm from Ireland, specifically the Midlands of Ireland. I speak French, Spanish and some Irish. And I'm very curious to see if my dialect of English helps me understand Old English in any way. All right, so the format of this challenge, basically I'm going to be reading some Old English texts which describe a word or an object. I'm going to read it once where they'll just be listening, and then the text is going to appear on the screen. As soon as the text appears on the screen, I'm going to read it again, and Rob, Dan, and Andrew can buzz in and guess what the object or word is. So we're going to start with the very first text. This thing mon ye seeth, fon ne mon ye seu uppe on tha helvonos, ach na for on an helra mon ye seeth, du zendu helra sindon on helvonum, and atiwath, bo orum album, swa swa lutil leucht vatu, on blakum helvonum, he blikath. That is, on anum elvan bricht me, on mei hit ye seu, on tha nicht an na, on thon ne hit atiwith eft. Mast helra is urra warode swida faura, ak an helra is nara us, and they a thisan a tooth, pa odru on nichte. So now the text should be appearing on the screen. Remember, y'all can buzz in now, and y'all can read along to what I'm saying. This thing man ye seeth, thonne man ye seu uppe on tha helvanos, ak na for an an helra man ye seeth. Thu zendu helra sindon on helvonum, and atiwath to urum album, swaswa lutlu leuchtvatu on blakum helvonum, de blikath. That is, on anum album brichtne, man mei hit ye seun, on tham nichts an na, on thonne hit atiwith eft. Mast helra is urre warode swede felra, ak an helra is nara us, on daie thys an atiwith, ta odru on nichte. Does anyone have any guesses? All right. Dan? So unfortunately, I don't have a single answer. I think it has to do with something like it's some, we use this to either go up or look up on the sky. And there's thousands of them. So I can understand that there's thousands of them on the sky, potentially. And then at the end, most of the time, our world, something with the them and there's something about the night potentially others for the night that's where i get confused because i was going to say airplane you know there are thousands of airplanes in the sky at all times but then the night thing doesn't really check out um but because it was my initial thought before so, reading forward i will say airplane is unfortunately not quite correct it's all right uh rob is it an owl it is not an owl. This thing, man ye seeth. All right, and Andrew, your thoughts? <laughs> I I feel like it's something celestial because the last sentence is the only one I really understand to some degree. And I feel like something is, it's something that's near to us during the night, which makes me think of the moon. The fact that there's thousands of them. It, 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 is, it a star, is it stars? Stars. Whoever said stars, it is stars. Yes! Uh, <laughs> that was really bad listening skills for me because Danny had just said thousands of something <laughs> and I said the moon. I know there are not thousands of the moon. 
yeah, the word, so the word is tungol, another old English word is stelra, but tungol is the word that I said, and it means star. So um, when you said you heard like there's thousands of them and some of them are nearer to us, that whole bit was, I said, one of us, one of the stars is closer to us. That one shows up in the daytime and the other one's at night. So the sun. Um, I knew there was something about the day and the night going on. <laughs> yeah. So y'all got like portions of it. Just needs to come together, but good work. Can I ask a supplementary right. question then? Um, Heora, that word that appears there, is that all of them or is that the hours of the day that you're referring to? So Heora means of them. It's right. Yeah, it's genitive plural of the word they. So it's theirs. Yeah. Got you. So Mast Heora, most of them. On Heora, one of them. All right, second challenge. This word is blau. It is sweet a man a blau. The man oft ye seek the norum leave. It is warm blau, my child. No, it said just some thing that this says blau sinned. Aplos he sinned, swas wa chiris aplos. Alkis fur thos blaus. On thar retide, for English they bend a year was, was ark gold thas blaus. Ark that with amich denge. Thorn each beth is some blau denge is blood. This word is blood as blau. So now the text will be on the screen. This word is blau. It is swede ye mana blau, the man oft ye seeth on urum live. It is warm blau, my child. Nu it said ye sumu thing the this says blau sind. Ap plus his sind. Swas wa chiris ap plus. Alkis fear thus blows. On theratide, tha English lip bende yerard was, was alk gold thus blows. Ak that be thamage then che. Is blood. This word is blood as blood. Anyone have any thoughts? Or should I read it again? All right, Danny? I got him. I got thoughts. My guess is going to be the color red. Blau might be color. Correct. Why would it be color? I don't know. It is but the color it's red. a warm color, not a cold color. Okay. Yeah, it is the color red. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, blau just <laughs> happens to be one of the many old English words for color. So yeah, it is the color red. And Danny, is this a word in German that you recognized or like a cognate of a word in German that you recognized? Did that help? No. So actually, that's why I'm making these weird faces. I'm trying to think of Blau sounds like any cognate I can think of in any language, and I don't think so. But I figured it out based off other stuff. Like it's something we see often in life, warm one, not a cold one, apple, curious apple, maybe that's cherry. Um, uh, something about the English life, it I don't know what cherry. that is, but then at the end it's, it's the color of blood, that's clear. I guess German helped me because I'm used to genitive constructions, like, blow this blow. That bit about the whole English thing, that's mostly just some trivia. What it says is, in the times when Old English was still spoken, they considered gold to be red. Um, if you know anything about, like, Norse mythology or, like, those, there's a lot of red gold in those medieval Germanic things. It's a really interesting like difference in how they saw colors versus us or like how they divided the color spectrum up so gold was red and i just thought that was a fun thing to throw in yeah, that makes sense so tida's times like tide and the tides changed kind of yes okay. yeah and you, you might recognize that also from german zeit oh zeit yeah what about you rob yeah i got very much the same clues actually they they led me in the same way um uh yeah yeah, fascinating. I'm I'm happy that um, there were so many um, tangible examples that we could get it by the end of the, the passage. All right, third challenge. This is that the man undit the men the onum dauris sind ma von the on ye kund thesis on may hit on ye ton be brother be meder be betstum friend ak auch be anis weaver of the wearer. Ak that is gold thing, a fiend on this neonit, and saith of yarne that man this onit on his hurt on. It's not if that soft sea, 
Octhatis that Aula sent off. The text should be on the screen now. This is that. Yes, Rob. Bit of a wild guess. Is it love? It is love. Very good. Nice. Mm. Excellent. Nice. Wow. You're learning old English. I, I can feel the confidence level in the room going up. What gave it away? Oh, I can now read the I can now read it. Yeah, I mean hearing brother, mother, best friend. Um I didn't actually get one's own wife. Um, I don't think, but then there was something oh yeah, and then heart later on talking about a heart. Um became it was what sealed the deal for me. Um but I did find myself trying to work out early on. Uh, in the very beginning where it's talking about the man and the men. Obviously, in so many languages, short words like that can mean, um, you know, with or but or... And so trying to work out whether man actually means what I would associate it, you know, in, in modern English means man, or whether actually it's... So it is the ancestor of the modern English word man. It's the ancestor of the word man, but it actually means person. The word man, which I actually used... Um, mm. in the sense it's about someone's wife, is were, which is where we get the word werewolf from, mm. and also like were-guild, like if you know your Germanic history and stuff. So, mom means person, and were means man. When people talk about humankind, is the, I mean, presumably that's... Mankind. You know, using the older... Yeah, mankind, that's where that comes from, yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't have originally been gendered, and it has become such over time. It or the association has, has become, become gendered. Such. It's become gendered in every Germanic language, I think. It's actually kind of interesting mm. because every single, like, I'm sure the German speakers here know that man is man, but it wasn't that way back in a thousand years ago. And yeah, so the old English mm -hmm. word is love, which is obviously this ancestor to love. Brilliant. All right, so fourth challenge. Nun spreche ich bin anum Englisch cum Worte. Sedja el shortly che sumre filmene geratid nisse, and ye moton sejan me, which filmen fetis. Ar long retide, on feuron stourweye, rixle uvel casa rice. He have done your wild over allum worldum, on thisum stourweye, and nu butliath he knew a weapon, the honest laye foran, full la worlde nae adulian. Oxum jung ackerman arist, learnoth that he drew craft ye wilt, Thonathemon for on sell macht at. He abruth here at wapen to a divine, er thonthe that cause a reche for with felt and equile. I'll start from the beginning and the text will come on the screen. Nun espreke ich be nonum englis cum worte. Sege el shortly che sumre filmene geretid nisse, and ye moton sejan me which filmen fetis. Er long retide. On Feuron Stourweye, Rixle Uvel Casa Rice. He have done your wild over Alum Worldum, on Thissum Stourweye, and no butliath he knew a weapon, the honest laye foran, full la worlde nae adulian. Oxum jung Ackerman arist, learnoth that he drew craft ye wilt, Thonathemon foran, sell macht, at. He abruth here, at weapon to adulianne. Uh, Danny. I'm just going to try something. So it's supposed to be a film. We're supposed to figure out what film it is. There's an evil Kazariche. Yes. Whatever that is. And there's some evil guy who is developing a new weapon with which you can control the whole world. So it sounds a lot like Lord of the Rings. But I'm not confident about that because, one, it's a book, mostly, before being a movie. But I'm going to go with Lord of the Rings. It okay. is. It's not Lord of the Rings. Good, good on you for guessing it's a book. Um, er long retide on ferron stairway, reach the evil cause a reach. He have done your world over all the worldum on this some stairway, a new butly of he knew a weapon, the honest lay a foran, full the world a adulian. Oxum young Ackerman a reist, learn of that he drew craft ye wilt, thoneth him on foran, sell macht at. He abruth here that weapon to a dillion, Arthan theth at causa reche the withvelt and yequilleth. Uh, do Rob and Andrew have any ideas? There's something involving a stairway, but I can't think of I can't think of any uh, films that where, where a stairway is. Uh, at least I presume that's the same word. It does not involve a stairway. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, think of other words that have those consonants in them. Nuna spreke ich in allem English morte. I might as well go for it. Um, I don't. I don't really have the idea of a film, but I think I can understand what the the text is about. So there's some evil guy, this Kasaricha, and he has some sort of weapon, and then someone learns about this, and because I see the word craft in there, so I'm guessing he learns about some sort of evil craft or something, some sort of negative craft that this Kasaricha has. And he needs to stop him from using this weapon. But I, I couldn't, I, I can't even guess what Philem is referring to. I think there's a few words in here that if you could figure out would illuminate everything. Because you're understanding like a lot of the points, but there's like one or two words that if you figure out what they mean, you'll know exactly what movie it is. Rob, have a go. Rob. The Matrix. <laughs> Not the Matrix. Okay, so now since we kind of uh, uh, oh, went through the whole round and nobody guessed it, I guess you can work together to to figure it out. Oh, okay. I was always working together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But, you, know, <laughs> you can just talk freely can, about it. Can they ask? Can they ask me questions? Uh, can you ask them questions? Yes. Okay, you can ask them questions. Yes. So, so I noticed that you were guessing stealth way. Yeah. It means oh, oh it's, the, it's it's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's the Force. That's what it he's is talking Star about. Star Wars. No way. <laughs> yeah, as soon yeah. as I realized, like, like there's something in quotation marks. I was like, what? What could that be? And then the stairways, the Star Star. Yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, there we go. Who's? Yeah. If uh... okay, no spoilers because I haven't seen the I haven't seen the new three. <laughs> it's about a new hope. Don't oh, they're, they're not worth your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're not good. Um, anyway, yeah, um, actually, the very first sentence, Our longer Tiron Fauron Stairway, is very literally a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, um, Causa Richa means empire, by the way. You see, that's what threw me because that, I understood that as Caesar. Yeah. Ah, Kaiser. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Because in, in German, isn't it um, yeah. Kaiserreich or something like that? Yeah, I think Kaiserreich is right. Mm, I, I was getting Roman connotations in my head because I was hearing Caesar. I think, Danny, when you started describing Lord of the Rings, you know, it's like, oh yeah, the movies are almost identical except one's in space. <laughs> I also have never seen Star Wars, so I, I, it would be hard. <laughs> I was like, if they figure out it's in space, they'll get it because it's the most generic story ever just told in space. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's um, it's classic m medieval knights slash samurai in space. Yeah, it's it's genius <laughs> on, on Lucas's part, really. Uh, so then, what I, I was I honing in when I said some sort of craft, a yeah. three craft or um, dry craft. What does that mean? Yeah, three. So three craft. So that sentence means, but a young farmer rises up, learns that he can control a type of magic which is called the force. Uh, Right. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, it makes sense now because give give yield like wield he can wield it. Yeah, and uh, German speakers macht die macht. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, might in English. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's literally called die macht in German. But I guess if you've never seen Star Wars in German, that wouldn't help. <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess it's on to the last one. That lotto se fejeu sege is gomen. That is e won gomen. Or tham thousand neon hun teunti on fief on achtati o than jare. Un tham gamene man playeth swa swa thruch wirta mit raldum hatte. The thruch that swam kinerice irunt the hlaftion of the kuninges doctor to a redene. Un his fara thruch that rice he shall with uvlum swamum un burdigum thouton on on he hlapon. Alk sind gode swamas the the thon a playend yamarath. Sind achta worlda, und on selvonum haura, on thamende, on ye hirth sejan, beladame, axel hlaftia, is on other raburi. All right, we're going to start from the top. That latoste, the jeo seje, is gamen. That is iwon gamen, o tham thousand neon hun teunti on fiv on achta tiothan yara. On tham gamene, on playeth swaswa thruchwirta, Mid raldum hatte, 
the torch that swam Cunericha Irnth, a Hlafdion, of the Cuningas Doctor, Bohredene. On his far a torch that reacher, a shell with Uvlum Swalmum on Burbigum Felton, and on he Hladon. Auch sind Goldeswammas, the the von a playend, Yamarath. Sind auch der Worda, and on Silvanum Hora, and am Ende, man ye hört, said John, Beladame, Axel Hlafdie is on all the Reburi. Anyone want to throw a guess out before I start from the top again? I have ideas, but I need to think. Yeah, I feel like I'm very close, but... All right. Oh, I've got it. All right, Rob. Is it the Olympics? It is not the Olympics. Okay. Yeah, let's go from the top one more time. All right. That Lotoste Thecheu Sedje is gone. That is Ewung Gamen of Tham Thusen Nion Hun Tenti on Fivon Achtati of Amjare. On Tham Gamene, man playeth Swaswa Thruchwirta, mit Raudum Hatte, the Thurch that swam Kunerice Irnth, the Hlavdion of the Kuninges Doctor, to a Hredenne. On his fare, Thurch that Rice, a shell with Uvlum Swamum and Burtlingum Felton, and on he Clapon. Elksen Godeswamas, the Thae thon a play and Yamaroth. Sind Arta Warda und on Silvanum Hora und am Ende an je hirth said John. The Ladame, Axel Klaftia, is on other Raburi. Who's gonna be brave? On Thisum Gamene, man playeth, Swaswa Thruchwirth. Andrew. I don't have an answer, but in the spirit of collaboration, I'm gonna voice what I think it might be, sort of, and then hopefully <laughs> Rob or Danny can get it. <laughs> so right. some we have, I think we have hundreds and thousands of something. And we're talking about a kingdom again, the Kuner, Kunericha, and something about the king's daughter. And mm -hmm. then this guy, who I, I assume is our hero, he shall do something. I don't know what swam means, because it's swam Kunericha and then swam them, they're linked somehow. And then in the end, and our world is going to something's going to be different about it and i think at the end someone is saying behold me and it, i think other is i guess that that's the same as modern english other and berg yeah i know that was complete not her uh, stream of consciousness but <laughs> i figured it out 100 percent danny it was a game that was released in 1985 when you're going, 1985, you're trying to rescue the princess from her castle and then you go through and she's not there. It's Super Mario. Uh, it is Super yeah. Mario. So, um, yeah. uh, Andrew, you're asking about swam. Swam means mushroom. Ah, swam means mushroom. The mushroom kingdom, right. And the, uh, the last... The, the last uh, the last sentence which you thought said behold me means sorry the princess is in another castle <laughs> that actually your hint helped me because i started reading that sentence and i couldn't figure out what you thought but then i kept analyzing and then i realized it says she's a, someone's in another berg and then that's how i figured it out yeah that threw me because i was thinking of berg as in the a mountain in german like b-e-r-g not berg b-u-r-g as in a town or a city or stronghold or whatever right both words are actually in old english there's a burg, which is berg, and then there's berg, which is berg. So, mm. good thought. They are very related and the same words. 1985 messed me up because I kept thinking it might be like a novel, but. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Um, guys. Good work. <laughs> good work. Mm, nice work. Yeah, so th this was old English with a modern twist, as you've noticed, especially uh, towards mm. the end. Uh, so what was your general experience? Maybe Rob, let's start with you. I, I definitely felt like I got much of a better idea as we went along, that my, I got my ear in, and certainly with certain examples, the, the few words that I could get were much more helpful to the, the final answer, um, at least for my reasoning. I don't know why I was saying Olympics on that last one, because I, I actually understood the idea of King's Daughter. And then just disregarded that, thinking, well, there's lots of games. I actually I understood what was being said. I just, for some reason, thought that the, uh, I was thinking, yeah, yeah, 1900 and something. And then my head thought 1800s because of the Olympics starting in like 1890 something and just got totally confused. 
but um but yeah that was that was all for all really fascinating and um i definitely picked up a lot of stuff in the course of going through all of the different games yeah what about you andrew it was quite uh, frustrating because there were so many words I recognized, either vocabulary words like nouns or filler words like they and this and our. But because I don't have a background in German grammar, I couldn't connect the dots and I couldn't work out, okay, this is, I couldn't work out the verbs, for example, uh, um, a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of words you can recognize from modern English. But because the grammar has changed so much in the last thousand years, it's it's a lot harder to join the dots. Yeah. What about you, Then Did German help you at all? Yes, it was definitely a big help. Um, I'll start by saying, though, that spoken, you can get very little, like maybe a few words, like the most obvious words, like when brother or whatever, thochter, like you can understand that. And then I agree, yeah, reading, you can get a lot more, especially like the more time I had to analyze it, I sort of combined uh english and german and i agree actually it's a good point uh, that uh andrew made that and the german helps for grammar in particular i guess because it's easier to glue things together and you know like how a genitive construction looks like or how what a past participle looks like like i've never seen in old english really but i know that ge like i immediately know that's going to be the past participle um so yeah th those things kind of help it was it was a good that's help. good and uh, alvina you picked uh, some modern words uh, towards the end uh, like yes. a film or a video game like how did you find the translations of that so uh, because especially star wars a lot of like what's going on is very as we mentioned while we were talking it's very medieval there's just a few words like you know galaxy i just said star way um I th I think that's the only really modern word in in there because I didn't like say spaceship or nothing um uh, for again for like Super Mario I think the one thing that was really a neologism was video game itself mm -hmm. and then just like things like Mushroom Kingdom that were just from the from the concept and um you know video iwung iwung hard that's just a neologism that I use a lot um so basically I just tried to find things that I could speak about and maybe only have to make up one or two words mm -hmm. because, you know, mm -hmm. kingdoms, princesses, you know, castles, you know, this is all stuff that existed a thousand years ago. Just because I'm talking about a video game from 1985 doesn't mean that I need to make up new words because all the stuff in it is stuff that existed a thousand years ago. Uh, what about the word film itself? Which one was it? Uh, so filmen, I basically, the way the word film came to me in a movie was through literally like the strips of film, like a film on something. So I just semantically expanded that mm -hmm. uh, just as a neologism, because to me, it made sense. Like you have like a thin film of something, you have this thin strip of like the pictures, you have the thing on the film, it's a film. So that is the ancestor to the word film, which I just expanded a couple thousand years early. <laughs> If you wanted to describe it in, in Scotland, you, oh, we, we say the pictures here. To say you're going to the movies, you say you're going yeah, to the pictures. We again, very old word <laughs> that would have worked fine. Yeah. 